Today is Monday, April 6th, 2020, so get excited, since it's time for another SciFax. Today's SciFax comes from Emily, another student who is a great leader in my class, and possibly even worthy of going into honor science for next year. Emily wants to know. Dear Chef, I watched your first video lesson about what a virus is. In that video, I learned that viruses cannot reproduce on their own, that viruses contain DNA, that viruses reproduce using the lytic cycle, and that viruses can exist in many different shapes and sizes. I was wondering though, how long does it take to get rid of a virus? P.S. I'm going into honors. There is no if, only when. That is another really good question. So let's get to it and answer that scientific question. To answer this question, we must first review the fact that viruses are not considered to be alive since they do not meet all of the characteristics of life. They are instead considered biological entities on the edge of life since they possess only some of the characteristics of life. We thus can not technically kill a virus since it is not alive, but we can get rid of its effects since it can be rendered inactive and thus unable to function. This can be done via a variety of means. For example, soaps and hand sanitizers can render a virus inactive due to the chemicals within them causing the particles making up the virus's structure to fall apart. This happens almost instantly when these chemicals are in direct contact with the virus. The environment can render a virus inactive as well, with factors such as wind, temperature, light, and even physical contact being able to destroy a virus. Note that the amount of time this takes depends on a variety of factors, for some viruses can endure the stress of environmental factors and remain active outside of a host for extended periods of time. There are also some kinds of viruses called virophages that co-infect a host cell along with another larger virus. The virophage uses this larger virus in a parasitic fashion to help it replicate, but this leads to the deactivation of the larger giant virus in the process. Finally, an organism's immune system is another major factor that can deactivate a virus and render it non-functioning. Upon a virus entering a host organism's body, the immune system immediately responds to destroy the viral invaders. The strength of one's immune system and the strength of the virus will determine how long the process of ridding the virus from the body takes, though. To thus properly answer today's SciFax question of how long does it take to get rid of a virus, this really depends on the process being used to deactivate the virus. This can happen instantly if using soaps and other chemicals, or it can never happen if a virus has invaded a body with a weak immune system. When it comes to humans and viruses though, the amount of time it takes a healthy immune system to get rid of a virus depends on the virus type. If we use the coronavirus as an example, it appears to take about 10 to 14 days for the human body to fight off this infection. But note that this can vary due to the strength of an infected person's immune system. Note also that just because a person has gotten over an infection, this does not mean that the virus has been completely removed from their system just yet. Well, Emily, I hope that helps answer your scientific question. If you have a scientific question that you want to get answered by the chef, please write it in the comments below, and maybe you'll be the lucky person randomly picked to get your question answered in tomorrow's SciFax. Please subscribe to Chase Floyd Inc. as well and turn on notifications so you'll be able to see tomorrow's SciFax video when it's released. 
with that being said, as always, we work bell to bell in Mr. Floyd's class, even during crazy times like these. So, I hope you learned a lot today, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another awesome edition of SciFacts with Chef Floyd RD.